What's up, Chobi? Thank you so much for the raid, homie. I appreciate you coming through with that. That's really awesome. Puts a smile on my face. So, we're trying to get to the last boss. That's the last boss right there. And I don't know if this is where we fight him or not. Impressed, but also quite annoyed. You have robbed me of my strongest ally. It would be unfair of me not to return the favor. Ara will make an excellent queen, fit for a god. Me and you are quite similar, Arctic. You play hard games, and I play games hard. <laughs> Very similar. You act as though you have a say in the matter. All right, let's fight this dude. Are we going down to a? Are we going down to a arena, or is this like a whole another? Area with to get out of. From the vizier. He had been warned that I'm gonna lurk it up. Good luck, homie. Well. Thanks, Joby. Appreciate the lurk. Oh, we're becoming a monster. But do not be surprised. The prince's transformation has saved him. Sometimes good can come of ill. Sometimes. Should I continue? I like how this save you... input cuts out the cutscene, like. The chick is in the middle of a monta like a monologue, and then the, it's like, "Hey, wait!" While she's talking, did you want to save it real quick? Like <laughs> that boss is horrific. Yeah, he's he's kind of like a weird ass golden butterfly in his own right, but he purposefully stabbed himself with the dagger of time and injected sand into himself to make him a monster. So we're trying to kill his ass. Yeah, he was the uh, he was the boss of the first Prince of Persia game, but um, we killed him then. But then we we changed time itself, so it brought him back to life because we altered the past, and uh, now we have to fight him again. But this time he's a monster. How many times did I warn you that first time we just fought him, he's an old man. Pursuing that girl, we would not be in this situation if Ah, yes, I did that last week. Focused. <laughs> Enough. All you do is taunt and insult me. I do not know what you are planning. Can I go up? I I do not trust you. No. I can slide down though. That I, ever did. I have nothing but noble intentions. Oh shit. I, now what it means to be noble. I don't think I'm gonna survive this one. Go faster. There we go. That gave me a lot of time. That was very generous. Um so if you guys didn't know and then we shall see what to do like you. This this oh, game is all yes. about sand really uh, because it's in the desert and stuff. And this sand is called the sands of time. So it allows me to rewind time, fast forward time, uh, slow down time if I need to, all kinds of craziness. And uh, so that's what we're kind of doing is uh, we're collecting sand to keep ourselves alive. Right now we were infected with the sands of time. So that's why we're this like creepy ass monster dude. Um, and we got like hair standing up on the end. See his hair is like really weird and like wispy um so because he's like a sand monster um his health is constantly draining so my health is always going down but if i get if i pick up sand it uh heals me so it gives me like it's a cool mechanic and we have like a cool like chains like kratos but this guy, like, I don't, like, worry about hits too much, because if I kill somebody, I, and they die and they drop sand, I get all my health back. So it's not, not too bad. And it's, like, cheap. You just keep spinning this blade around and you eventually kill everybody. Alright. How many people are in this room? We should kill this lady over here, right? Or whatever this dude is. This, like, guy that's chilling in sand. Come on, man. And this game, if you guys didn't know, it's on GameCube. So, um, I'm playing it on the Wii. Because my GameCube, I don't know where it is. Um, shit. And it came out in 2005, we looked it up. So it's in a little bit of an older game. Come on, man. GameCube is really underrated. Um, like, there's people that say, like, PS2 is, like, one of the best systems out there, or ever. And, like, 
But I think like the GameCube is one of my favorite systems. So many good games on fucking GameCube. Thank goodness that's wild. Reminds me of the ninja game where you had to kill bad guys or the sword will drain all your health. I can't remember what game that was. Love GameCube. GameCube was fucking fantastic. And it had one of my favorite Mario games, Mario Sunshine, on it. Got him. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. What am I doing in here, though? Can I climb this? Let me grab that sand first, though. Thank you. I don't know if I can really do anything by climbing this. I don't think I can. No. What was even the point of this room? I don't know. This is, like, really dark, so I'm sorry if it's, like, extremely dark for you guys. Like, I could barely see anything. I don't even think we had to, like, go in that room. That was kind of weird. Nope. Well, I guess we could. Let's kill a couple guys and get, get our health back. I want to say Shinobi. That makes sense. That, that does sound familiar. I just started Sunshine again. Sunshine is fucking fantastic. I've probably gotten all the star, uh, the shine sprites in it um, like 10 times. I used to play James Bond on my GameCube all the time. Uh, that was a really good one too because uh, I don't know if it was uh, the one on GameCube. Maybe I'm thinking of the, the remake of 007 on the Wii. I can't remember. But people think of James Bond, they think of... Somebody talking? Um, I think er, people usually talk about um, the the one for N64, Goldeneye, but there was a lot of good Bond games. Give me some health. I used to play James Bond on my GameCube all the time. I bought the Mario Collection. Shit, I, I thought I ran down in a pit. I bought the Mario Collection, never played any of them. I know that's embarrassing. That's not embarrassing. Like, um... I can't tell you how many people like I've talked to that um, bought that game just for Sunshine because nobody's played Sunshine. Like I don't know why it was like not a thing. All right, there we go. Yeah, we used to play GoldenEye for the Nintendo 64 like all the time. That was like one of the original party shooter games and uh as long as you didn't play as odd job the really tiny guy because that's just cheap because like your auto aim just aims over his head um going this way don't hit me dude i'm doing my thing i feel like no one owned a gamecube that's probably why i guess like i wanted the gamecube like that I, like I got it right when it came out. Like I was so excited about it when it was first announced. But then again, I grew up as like a pure Nintendo fan. Like I didn't have like a PlayStation or anything for a while. Um, I had like every Nintendo system though. Cut him in half. These guys have like no health, so they die really fucking. I had a PS1. I did have a PlayStation, um, and like the original giant ass gray PlayStation. And then uh, our house got broken into, and the bastard stole it. And uh, they actually found the people that stole it because the house was like right down the road from ours. Um, and the bastards who stole it, they um, were smoking. They were like kids, they were smoking, and their mom came into the room, and they put the lit bong under their fucking mattress, and set the fucking mattress and, the, like, the room on fire, and so the cops, of course, went to go inspect this burning-ass building, and then found all our shit, and because we had a police report, they, they knew it was all ours, because it was, like, all the items that we reported missing, and, uh, so, yeah, it was really fucking crazy, like, like, we got our PlayStation back, but it was just, like, toast, but the funny thing was, the shell of the PlayStation was burnt to a crisp. But the memory cards, if you looked at the PlayStation, the memory cards were like hanging out and drooping because the fire burned them so much the plastic drooped. But the the actual like the 
actual memory of the memory card, since it was inside the PlayStation, it was fine. So we were able to open up the memory cards, take that out, pop them into a new memory card, like screw them back in, put the new memory card into the new PlayStation we got, and all of our saved data was safe. <laughs> it was so fucking awesome. Um, yeah, it was crazy. Um, but because uh, we had to get a new PlayStation, uh, me and my brother opted for the, the PS1, the slim white one, that little tiny one. Oh, fuck. I was just... See what I'm talking about? Your health drains. I'm sitting here having, telling stories and not even paying attention, and I killed myself. Um, can I go over here? Is there... Nah, I'm dead. We gotta start this over. Man, they built stuff so good back in the day. They really did. It was crazy. But at the same time, you gotta think about it. The reason that... Where the fuck am I? The reason that those memory cards held up was because uh, once again. they... Um, the, the memory card is like this long, but the, the actual like chip in it was only like to there. And the rest of this was all empty plastic. Oh. Once again, you have denied us so they, a lot of times they built times shit like electronics back in the day with a lot of spare room in it. That girl. We would not be in this situation if you had just stayed focused. Enough. All you do is taunt and insult. All right. We know where to go. So we're just going to like skip that one room with all the fights in it. We're going to get some health out of it, but... Um, we know how to, to get where we're going. Get up. I have nothing but noble intentions. I understand now what it means to be noble. There's Your health in here. Righteous. I have put up with you? you for entirely too long. Be silent. Let me finish the task. And then down, down. we shall see what to do. About My first you. games are like NHL 98 oh, and Tekken yes. 3. I forgot who's really in charge. Can I go this way? No, I cannot. Um, I had a Sega before that. And it was dope as fuck. Wish I still had it. I never had a Sega. I had a friend who had a Sega. And uh, we would play Sonic. And he had Echo the Dolphin. And Echo the Dolphin was like the hardest game like nobody's ever played. <laughs> Echo the Dolphin was insanely difficult. Um, but it was it was fun. And back then, like, like fucking, like the games didn't have save features. A lot of games didn't have save features. So you had to like um, write down the code on the screen. You couldn't even use your phone to take a picture of the code. Like the, the the continue code. I've heard about that game. Yes, it is insanely difficult. Like, and I'm not even like joking. That game will like drive you insane in the memory. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Fuck it. Okay, and then this way. Yes. I'm gonna finish this game tonight, even if it takes me much longer than I was expecting. Alright, we're almost there. I think, is there health right here? There is. I need that. And then we go in. So, in here was the room we, were, we died in, right? I think. I just want to kill one of these guys so that they're, they're fucking sand. I get their sand. And then I'll make my way around the, the fucking ledge. Die, bitch. There he is. Dead. Go. So what you're saying is Echo speedruns coming soon. Listen, Prince. I need to... Because I don't have a... Uh, a um, can I, like, do anything here? Since I don't have a, a Sega, I would have to get a ROM of it somehow. But um, I don't see why not. Why I can't, like, look into that game. Alright. where did We didn't make it here last time. Did we? No, we, we tried to jump and stayed over there on the ledge. Shit. Or no, we made it here, but we turned back around and went back the way we came. When we need to to jump on that that ledge right there. All right, so we need to go over here. We didn't do this last time, and we gotta go down. Hmm. Tick tock, Prince. Tick tock. Tick tock. 
I love the conversations that the prince and the sand monster prince like have with each other. I fucked up. Just do this. That's bad. I was kidding, but shit, I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm, I'm down for it. I'm always down for a challenge. Like, uh, I was recently playing, because I have this weird, like, NES, like, system thing that has 620 games on it, and I was, like, just playing random games in it, and I found an NES game called Rockin' Cats, and the first time I played it, it took me a few hours to beat, and, uh, but I loved it. It was so much fun, and I died probably 100, 200 times. But um, I set a goal for myself to do it deathless, and I, I finally beat it deathless. It only took me like 36 minutes to beat the whole game, which was awesome. Shit, shit, shit. Shit! How did I die there? I don't have any uh, slowdown sand, so there's nothing over here. So we have to do this in one run. That was easy. Much easier than slowing down time. We got our health back. Um, so the thing about the Sand Prince is like, he's only good until you uh, you walk into water and then he becomes a regular prince again. So we just need to find some water in order to turn back. But he is fun to play as. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. It was, it was fucking dope. It was, it was a lot of fun. It's on my YouTube, I think. Well, I know it's on my YouTube. Shit, shit, shit. That's okay. We just kind of like walked through those saws like a fucking boss. Alright. I can go up there. Where does this go? Oh, it just takes me up here so I can get over. Alright. So... You what, mate? What am I doing here? I, what? Okay, let's take all that back. I got hit by like nine saws, and I don't even know where I'm exactly going. Okay, um... I don't really know. Oh, climbing up that wall. That's where we're going. I need to hurry up, though, because I am running out of health super fucking quick. There is no fucking health. I'm dead. I can't. There's no way to survive that shit. I don't know when, where it's going to put me. I really hope it doesn't put me, like, way the fuck back. I'm going to be super pissed if that's the case. Okay, cool. It didn't. It put me like right here near the near the blades. Tick tock. Okay. Feeling thirsty. Feeling dry. Oh, am I distracting you? So what's weird is like he has this internal monologue with the sand monster prince, but like you're playing as the sand monster prince, so. Like, I'm still the prince in control of my own mind and shit. But, um... But the sand monster has, like, he's inside my thoughts. Okay, so we just rolled through here, right? Oof. Yes, we did. Okay, so we need to be quick. We know where we're going now, so we just need to be quick. Because otherwise we die. We're on a time limit. Time is precious. Time I know. I heard you. Time is something you have to live. I just want to get through there because there's sand there. Boom. Climb. Would you like a drink? Climb. Jump over and let's go. Move this. I didn't roll. I just fucking... Let's take that back because that was a lot of health that I just lost.
Okay. Shit. It's okay. We're fine. We're doing this. And I'm pretty sure, like, if, if you look in this next part, there's, like, a door over there. I'm pretty sure that door, there's water on the other side of it. That would make sense. And that would end the, the Sand Prince part. Shit. Shit. Change back, dude. Change back, dude. I'm almost dead. Oh shit. That's our dad. Oh come on now. Did you really expect to find him alive? Even after everything you have experienced, still you hold out hope. No, they don't. Um so the first Prince of Persia game did not have a sand monster prince at all. Um, it was just strictly using sand to rewind and slow down time and stuff. Um, rescue a damsel in distress along the way. No! You are right. See. I have been like a child, naive and arrogant, always rushing to undo my mistakes, never facing the consequences of my actions. No more. I accept what I have done. Yeah, the second one did have a sand monster prince, but it was a different, different thing. Oh shit! What is this? You have no water. How did you? You hold no power over me now. Be gone. Retreat to whatever dark hole spawned you, and do not trouble me again. He's never done that before. All right, so we got a new sword. Dope, and it's got light coming off of it. Oh shit. Holy shit, this sword is fucking dope. But the then two in the Warrior Within, which is the second Prince of Persia game on the GameCube, um, it had like later on you find a mask, and when you put the mask on you become the sand wraith. And it's it was kind of like a sand monster, kinda. But um it was only so that way you can like interact or be in the same timeline as yourself. And then um once you took the mask off, then you became the prince again. But it like there wasn't no change you you put it on once, you become the sand wraith, you play through a lot of the game, you take off the mask, you become the prince again, and that's it. You don't ever become the sand wraith again. Um I don't know. I wish I could go in there. Um, I don't know where we're going because it's so dark. It is like really fucking dark. And the camera, if you're running and you go, you tilt up, it snaps back down, which is really fucking annoying. You have to be like stationary in order for it to stand still. Um, can I go in here? No. There's got to be a ledge or a, a pillar that I can climb up. It's the only thing I could think of. Second. Um, I can't break the door down with my sword. Oh, well I can kind of do this. What the fuck's over here? Nothing. Touch me and walk away. I think it's something like this though. We're on the right track of kind of exploring. Fuck. Ooh, can I break this down? This looks like it's like crumbling. No. Shit. Oh, maybe I can do this. Um, I don't know. Because this sword is like in my, the X button slot, and I don't want to throw it, and then I just got rid of my sword. Um, up here? Looks like something's up there. No. All right, we're going to fucking do this. Let's do this. That's what it was. So you can't... This sword is, like, invincible now. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is this where I should resume the tale next time? Yes. Good. We're doing it. Fine place to start the tale next time. 
So I think we're pretty damn close because he took Farah, knocked us down. I think as long as we can get back up and fucking find the vizier, I think that's that's it. I think that's like the game. I don't want to do a new slot in this one. Done. Done, done, done. Okay. Now where are we at? Ooh, that's a pit. Go over here, though. Monsters? There's, like, sound like there are monsters. Ooh, there's invisible monsters. Okay. Can I go this way? Is this anything? I was like running against him and not moving. That's the only reason I knew there was one there. Okay, up here. Okay, no more music. So I think I'm done with the enemies. Let's see. That's not where I'm supposed to go. This way. Okay. Ooh, that was a fucking bait. That was fucking bait if I've ever seen it. They're like, look at that fountain. Don't you want to get over there? And then <laughs> just fall on your fucking ass. Alright. I don't know if I can... Oh, shit. Dead. Alright, so I think I can just run over here and then run to the fountain. Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright. That was a pretty quick area. I, continue? I will continue my story from here next time. I think my wife is watching Batman. Sounds like Batman. And if you guys didn't know, for anybody that's in here that saw earlier, uh, Catapose is my wife. That's that's Catapose right there. She's watching Ant-Man, not Batman. I was close. Probably going to head out and take the pup out and get some shit done before I pass out. Glad I could finally catch a stream. Definitely going to stop by again soon. Appreciate you. Keep, in, keep killing it. I appreciate you, 82 Dogs. You're the real homie. You're always so chill and so cool when you come in the chat. And uh, it's it's cool, like, hanging out with you again. Just like it feels like the good old days. Uh, so take it easy, man. Thanks for stopping by. And thank you so much for the gift subs. That, that meant a lot. This way. It really does. Not even the same universe. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Uh, down. All right. You tell him, Catapose. She don't know what she's talking about. Batman, Ant-Man, same guy. They're they're interdimensional, interuniversal <sighs> travelers. Same guy, different mask. All right, peace. See you, man. All right, so we're gonna go down, and then I think we're going up there somehow. Can I swing and jump up there? Totally can. Uh, up here. All right, we could stab that wall. Go over here. Shit, I don't want to go back over there, but whatever. What I love about this game is that there's so much, like, it makes you feel like a badass 
even though you're just doing acrobatics. It makes you feel like a fucking badass, like being able to jump everywhere and swing on things and wall jump and figuring out how to get places. There's enemies right behind this wall. Dude, my dad had a killer ass sword. So I'm able to like, it doesn't ever break and I'm just cutting guys down in like one hit. Dude. I thought you were leaving, bro. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. You really didn't, but I appreciate that. Mampy got a gift sub. Uh, Jake King got a gift sub. It's Ouija Mate. Velasca. And uh, Brayden's in. That is fucking awesome. Jumping <laughs> and a swinging in games is always great. It is. It makes me... Because I'm doing things that I'll never be able to do in real life. Though I watch like fucking Ninja Warrior and shit. And I'm like, I could do that. I know that I can't. Lunchtime at work. How you doing, homie? I'm doing great, Moxie. How you doing, bro? Charismatic voice, which once whispered in his hope ear. your uh, hope your day's but going well. Uh, hope work more. isn't treating you too bad. Now, All right, so we're going this away. The prince's mind once more his own. We should be pretty close to beating this game, but I've been saying that for an hour and a half. Um, I don't entirely know where we're going. But 82 dogs, man. You you probably just did that and like dipped like a fucking legend, but I appreciate that, man. That means a lot. Um, good, back's just killing me. Oh man, I know all about that shit. I have a I have a bad back myself. Oh, I can just break this down. Duh. I keep forgetting that this is a mechanic now. I'm like staring at this wall like what am I supposed to do? All right. Up here. Yeah, Moxie, if it tells you anything about how bad my back is, I threw my back out like I think it was like 2 years ago, maybe a year and a half ago. You know how I fucking did that? I was brushing my teeth in the morning. I felt a sneeze coming on, so I just took the brush out of my mouth and sneezed and threw my back out. Like completely threw it out. I was like, how the fuck is this even a thing? It may be partly because I'm old, but I think it's also because I have a bad back. And I don't work out as much as I should, which is, I don't work out ever. <laughs> which that might also be a thing. You never work out. Yeah, I never work out. I got it. Yeah, it was crazy. Like, I couldn't move. Like, I, w I, I went to work, but, like, literally, I, I, after, I threw my, after I did that, I sneezed through my back out. I went and sat on the couch in the living room, and uh, the wife, Catapose, went out to walk the dog. And when she came back in, she had to help me get up off the couch because I couldn't do it. I was just done. <laughs> it was so stupid. All right, where are we going? Over here. And then I got, I, I got in the car to go to work. And, uh, I'm not 50. Way to fucking, like, blow things way out of proportion. Um, but I got, I drove my car to work that day. I didn't even call out because I was a fucking champ. And then, like, when I parked the car, I opened the car door and had to, like, grab the fucking door. The, the, the top of the door frame and, like, hoist myself out of my car. It was fucking crazy. Um, I am 34, I believe. 34? 35. 34. I think I'm 34. I'm so old I forget. It's just a number anyways, right? Is that what they say? Age is just a number? Look at that shit didn't tip over from your weight. Thanks. Thanks, babe. She, she's just kidding. I'm not a fucking gorilla. <laughs> she's dying over there. She's cracking herself up. I, I I don't know how to time this shit. It is just a number, right? It is just a number. It's not it's not the 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 number of your age, it's the motion of the ocean or something like that, right? I think that's what they say. Oh shit. Oh, I fucking did it. Hold on, I think I got this. The answer is no. I'm all This is fucking stupid. 
How did I go down here? Can I like launch up here? Ah! I timed it wrong and I fucking died. It's more of a countdown. Yeah, kind of is a countdown. I like how you looked over <laughs> to confirm the age. I did. I. I. Pff, I, I. I. Honestly, don't remember my age half the time. It's crazy. All right, let's let's go all the way back to where we were. All right. You just wait, KP. You'll get there. You'll get there where you're like, how old am I? Like, we don't. We're not kids that have like a birthday where you celebrate it and like there's streamers on the wall and shit. So I'm not the oldest moot. How old are you, Moxie? Lead them into the light. Strike while they are blind. I told I, I showed you mine, you showed me yours. Alright, let's see. Oh, shit. If we're talking about the oldest, old school is the oldest. But uh I'm, I'm hitting that 25 soon. Dude! <laughs> KP's a baby. I'll be 31 in July. True. Yeah, 30. I mean, you passed the 30 mark, which uh, when we got there, because my wife is only uh, a month younger than I am. So uh, when we, when, like, she's still 33. Um, but when, uh, when we turned 30, I got her a card and wrote about how she was middle aged now. <laughs> I was like, don't think about it as being middle-aged. Think about it as being, like, seasoned. Oh shit, I can just cut the fucking dogs in half now? I don't even have to, like, stab them? This sword is dope! Oh shit. KP and that little baby face. He does have a baby face. KP's still older than me. Yiddy's like the baby of the group. But we all need that that baby in the group. Um, you what, mate? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, I think uh, I think I do this. There's a switch here. Okay, that pulls the fucking that makes the walls rotate. Who made this castle? Jesus Christ! Like, what would you ever need this for? Wait. I think I have to turn it, and when it's set, then let go. I think. Right? No? What? I don't even know. So fucking romantic, my husband. <laughs> yeah, Rob thought I was 30, so that made me laugh. Can't he's not 30. I could have told you you weren't 30, bro. But you are, you are very wise. I will give you that. You do seem like you're a very wise individual. 21, baby. Hey, old enough to drink. That's all that matters. Any, any man can have that baby fa face as long as they shave. It's like a time machine. Bro, I ain't taking that time machine. If I take a time machine, it's going to be a real time machine that allows me to keep my beard. Um, this way. Shit. I'm reading chat. <laughs> the baby with the deepest voice. That's what it is. Yeah, the contractor was insane. What's the contractor? Is that a movie? Or am I am I missing some kind of joke? No baby face is allowed in this household. He loses the beard, he loses the wife. I 100% believe that. 100%. I trimmed my beard for our wedding. And I thought that was going to be the end of it. Oh, for this castle? Yeah. Whoever they hired for this castle, like, if I would have hired somebody, if the guy built my house this way, I would look at him like, what the fuck did you do? Reverse it all. Take, take it back. Like, why are you making stone pillars that turn? Why are you, like, putting, like, fucking things on the wall that you have to stab and run along the wall to get across. Okay. So... What? 
This way. You eventually learn, like, what the game's expecting out of you. That's how I can, like, I'm looking and I'm like, oh, yeah, right here. Oh, yeah, right here. Even though I don't remember this at all from, like, the last time I played it 15 years ago or however long, um, you kind of get the idea and the feel of, like, what they expect out of you. <laughs> Reminds me of I Ninja. Dude, I Ninja was awesome. I never played I Ninja. What was that on? Or was it a show or a movie? I, I'm so out of the loop. I've never heard of it. I said open floor plan, <laughs> not changeable floor plan. At a whim. A stitch in time is worth three in the bush. That's hey, wiser words have never been spoken. So wise you combine multiple <laughs> fucking sayings. I think PS2 and GameCube. I fucking died. There's a platformer action PS2 game very similar to this. Okay. I definitely got to look into that. I might actually have it. Because on my Wii, my Wii is modded. So I got like 200 and something games on it. I don't have GameCube games on it though. The only GameCube games I have on it are, this one, are these ones. So I'll have to... I could look for it though. Boom. Boom. I played on the GameCube. Okay. So I can get it for the GameCube. It should be very easy. Yo, if you stream that, I'll watch it. What a classic. Nice. So I wonder if there's like a... Because I've never even heard of it. And I was a huge GameCube fan. Um, I'll, I'll probably know it if I see it. But um, I wonder if there's like a following for it. This was fun, but I had a blast. Stay cool, Arctic. You too, Mampy. Thank you so much for coming through. Thanks for the follow. Congratulations on the sub. On the gift sub. And uh, take a sleazy, bro. This way. See you, nerds. Um, uh, you what, mate? I gotta... I don't think I can make it over there. Or can I? Nope. There's a nope. What's up, Forsaken? What's going on, homie? We're probably gonna beat this game tonight. Well, we are gonna beat this game tonight. I don't care if it takes me until 1 in the morning. Um, I'm beating this game tonight. We gotta be close. Jump to the jump into the white part. Yeah, like sometimes it takes me a second just to like be like, what the hell am I doing? And then I figure it out. Ooh, I thought that water was gonna knock me down the fucking wall. It heals you probably. What the water? Nah. I wish. All right, let's slow this down. Go go go! Holy shit! That was 100% blind for the most part. Oh shit, get out. Okay, well, we did that. That was probably supposed to be a really hard fucking uh, trap room, trap door, trap hallway, and I made it look like child's play. I like the drunkenness blur effect. Yeah, it's so fucking dumb. It, um, it makes it really difficult to see. Like, it makes it, like, it makes you feel kind of drunk. But, um... They do it. I think it's like the Fast and Furious effect. Like when he pushes the NOS button. I, th I think it was Fast and Furious 2. He pushes the NOS button. And then it like the whole. It looks like he's going warp speed. Yeah. That's. There's that white stuff. Yup. That white stuff. That was probably a contractor. He uh, got the white stuff all over the walls. Alright. So. Let's see. Where are we at? Because we're almost out of the hole that the fucking vizier knocked us down in. So, there's a switch here. Open the door. Ooh, it's some kind of, like, crazy-ass fucking room. Oh, what the fuck? Drive-by. Alright, killed that guy. They throw fucking blades and shit, so those are, like, really tough dudes. Yeah. 
Got it, ladies. Jesus Christ. Okay. Cut her in half. I should really be uh, preserving my health and using my sand a lot more. Because uh, the fact that I can get a lot more sand in here, because I kill things so quick, I should be using it any possible moment I can. Dude, these guys are usually tough, and I just cut them in half in like two hits. These guys are harder than the Gerudo, right? I'm almost there in my uh, in my Ocarina of Time play uh, playthrough. Is that the sand making them get cut in half? No, it's my the sword that my dad's sword, because I found my dead dad and I picked up his sword, that white sword in my hand, and it never breaks. So it is like insanely fucking powerful. Um, these guys just keep dropping. I don't even know if I need to do this. There's a button up there which I eventually want to get to. What's up here? <laughs> Your dead dad plays Twilight Princess? Uh, probably. He did before before he uh, before the vizier got him. Um. Oh, I see. This way, and then jump across. Okay. Um, and we got to find a way to that button somehow. This way. You know, I've only played Twilight Princess once. I really got to play that game again. And uh, Skyward Sword. As much as people shit on Skyward Sword, I remembered having some fun with it. I mean, it wasn't the best Zelda. It was fun. I think I've only beaten it twice. Um, you're talking about uh, Sky, uh, Twilight Princess? Like, um, I remember like there was like a weird thing where it was you needed five heart pieces to get a heart container, which is like weird for a Zelda game. All right, we in. I gotta replay both of those. Never beat them. Yeah, they're they're definitely worth the playthrough. Um, I'm having a lot of fun on my Ocarina of Time three heart run. I'm having it, it's like so refreshing. It makes the game really refreshing. Um, I'd say it's the worst Zelda of all, the console Zeldas, but that's a really high bar. Yeah, three heart runs are so fun. Yeah, I gotta do. I want to do uh, Majora's Mask, which I know is fucking tough. Um, they they say it's tough even with like the double armor upgrade. Um, but I, in Ocarina of Time, I'm skipping the double armor or the like the double armor magic boost um, because I don't want to make the game too easy on myself. <laughs> beaten Twilight Princess twice, but never played Skyward Sword. I beat Majora's Mask for the first time 15 years later. Yeah, Majora's Mask is fun as shit. Uh, like I, I think we talked about it before on the stream. Like it, at first, it was very um, nerve wracking having to deal with a time mechanic. Um, that you feel like time's running out, but um, you get over that like really quick. So there's like no enemies or nothing in here. You know the vizier is like right around the corner over here. We just went from a save point to a save point without fighting an enemy. So you know it's like right out here somewhere. I continue from here when you return? Watching Peach play it was was so dope. Yeah, Peach, Peach is and he's like legendary playing it too because Peach is so fucking entertaining. Majora's Mask is the best Zelda game. That a lot of people think that. I liked um, Wind Waker a lot, but the thing about Wind Waker is, I, I like when I first played it, it was awesome. The dungeons are fucking awesome and everything. But when you go back and play it later on, you realize, realize how like empty the world is and how underutilized like a lot of the the map is. Where the fuck? Oh, we can just run over here and swing. So he's got to be at the top of this tower. Shit, invisible enemies. Can I, like, do this? How did I look? How did I look? I can't remember how to look. This? So he's got to be up there somewhere. Hey bro, I know I just got in, but I gotta step away for a second, try not to beat the game in the next 20 minutes. 
I will try. I don't. It's probably gonna take me 20 minutes to get up this fucking, this fucking pill, like, uh, tower. What am I doing here? Dropping here, maybe? Oh no, maybe going into here. Okay. There's enemies over there, but enemies are super fucking easy now. Ah, uh, he saw me. Yeah, see, my dad's sword, I didn't even cut him with my dagger. The dad's sword cut him in half. I know it's not called the dad's sword, but that's what I call it. You ever watched the Prince of Persia movie? Um, I watched it once. As much of a fan as I am of the Prince of Persia games, um, like these are some of my favorite games, um, I only ever watched uh, the movie once with Jake Gyllenhaal. And I remember not really being a huge fan of it. But I gotta go back and watch it again. Ooh, I can jump over there. Okay. Ooh, shit. I was swinging way too much. Um, I yeah, I don't remember much of it. I know it had Farah. It had the vizier was the bad guy. Uh, video games to movies rarely work. It's true. We did we did just watch the Monster Hunter movie. Um, I liked it. It had a lot of like fanfare in the movie, um, but the wife didn't really like it. Why do I have my sword is still on my hip, but I'm like swinging like I have it out. Take out your sword, man. Your sword is like stuck on your hip. There we go. Um, where are we going? Can't climb up. Can we go this way somewhere? I think so. But one of the one of my favorite video game movies was the Mario Brothers movie with Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo. Um, but then again, I was a huge collector of like Mario shit back in the day, so I have a bunch of like Mario collectorbilia, whatever you call it. Not that way. There we go. Yeah, the Resident Evil Netflix series looks fucking dope. And I've only ever played one Resident Evil game. I've only ever played Resident Evil 1. Um, I I do want to get into them because Resident Evil Village, I think it is, that's coming out, looks really cool. Um, and the Resident Evil 2 looks amazing. And the remake is fucking dope looking. I know Chobi just played it. I tried not to watch too much of it um, because I don't want spoilers. But... Um, like, I heard that game, like, Resident Evil 2 is just amazing. And the remake did it right. That was dumb. Go, 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 go. Okay. What the fuck is this shit? What am I doing? I can't see shit. Well, there went all of my health, but I'm... Fuck this hallway. Holy shit, this hallway. Holy shit. This is a murder hallway. Alright, let's try this again. No. No. I've beaten the main games except 7 and, and, excited, and I'm excited for 8. Nice. I think there's sand in here. Yeah, 8 looks really fucking cool with the giant ass lady that everybody's like curious about. Ooh, that gave me 3 sand. And we got our health back. Sweet. All right. Story from here next time. Like, I really do want to play the Mega Man games, because I know they have difficulty settings, and I'd like to play them on harder modes. I've never played a Mega Man. I think we talked about it in here before, because Forsaken Heart, my brother, is, like, a really huge Mega Man fan. Um, so I do want to kind of give them another shot.
Or a shot, because I've never given him one. All right. No sand in those those pots. Where's the button? Oh, here it is. Okay. Shit. Any more? There's this lady. But they're not giving me sand. They just die. This way. And then across. Can't do it that way. Um, there we go. I just wasted one of my sands stupidly because I was like, I assume it's this way. All right, enemies over here, please. Or sand, I'll take that. I just wanted enemies because they give you sand. But if I get free sand, it's even better. I feel like we were just here. Alright. The fuck was that? <laughs> He's just like, this is a good jump. Alright. Straight up. And then... I can't do that, but I can jump over here. Somebody, there's an invisible guy in here somewhere. I think I want to put this on that that elevator. I keep taking my swords out like there's enemies here. I don't know. Got to get back to it. Hope you have a great rest of your stream. Thanks, you so much, Dead Moxie. Hope works goes. Hope work goes well for you. Um, and uh, thank you so much for swinging by. In the fucking elevator, please. Does it make it go down? No. But I'm pretty sure doing this raises the elevator up. Yes. So I could use that stone up there. Alright, up we go. Ooh, there's an invisible enemies. And I killed him. Didn't even know he was there. Okay. So, I'm not quite sure where we're supposed to use this block, but I know it has to be used up here because there's a reason we had to bring it up. Maybe we're supposed to put it on that one, too? And just, like, keep... It's like an escort quest for this fucking block? I think... I don't need sand anymore. I'm full up. All full up. Is there an enemy on the other side of this? <laughs> God damn it. No? No more? Can I push this now? No. There's an enemy here somewhere. I hear him. Go, just go, just go. Okay, so that must be what that's for. It brings the platform up so I can get on it somehow. Can I go up? No, so I'm just gonna go straight across here. All right, we have to be close. Like, look how close we are to the top of this tower. So we gotta be close. Uh, 
I can't, it won't let me jump there, so I have to go here and jump across. Okay. All right. What is this? Just free sand for us? No sand for us. Maybe because we're full up. I don't know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you want to see what happens next, click on this link over here. It'll take you to the next video. If you like this kind of content and you want to see what other videos I put out in the future, click on this one up here. It'll help you subscribe. I really appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you on the next one.